Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. I have several hundred business students who are researching the fitness center industry uh, in the United States. Uh, what they'll want to do is make sure they collect uh, demographic information for their consumers with data that looks just like this. In order to get that data, you need to use a database called MediaMark Reporter, and this video is going to show you how to do it. What you learn in this video can also be applied to most other consumer markets in the U.S. as well, so it should be transferable. Your skills should apply with further research down the road. So here you go. So when you first get to MediaMark, what's your, or MIA Plus here, what you want to do if you've never done this before is register for free and create an account with them with your Ohio email address. Okay, I've already done so, so I've already got that confirmation email. I'm already signed up, so I'm going to log in. Uh, here. Do not try to log in with your college or Ohio University ID here before creating an account here. And look, I'm just using my Ohio email address, and this really isn't even my Ohio password. It's just a password I made to go along with this database. Okay, so I'm going to log in here. And it's going to take me to a page that looks like this. Ignore everything on the page and go directly to MediaMark Reporter right here in the top right hand corner. That will take you to a page where you agree you're using this for academic purposes only. So we will accept the terms and conditions here. And it takes us to this page, which admittedly looks a little bit goofy. So what you want to do to get started, there's no search box here until you click on the product. And after you do that, that's when your search box actually shows up. Okay. Now you could go in here and search for a topic. You could go here and search for like yoga or running or jogging or weightlifting or whatever. Uh, but I happen to know that the uh, physical fitness activities are actually in the leisure and sports section. So I'm just going to click there and go straight there to browse. So this will take us to everything that has to do with leisure and sports that MediaMark uh, has information on. So if we scroll down, we can see um, all kinds of stuff on movies. Uh, here we go, physical fitness, right? So do you belong to a gym? Right, so this will give us demographic information of, for people who actually belong to Bally Total Fitness. Okay, um, I'm going to go down and say if you re exercise at a club in the last 12 months, two two plus times a week. Right, so this gives you information here, and the way you read this is this number here is going to stay the same whether you're looking at. Uh, who goes to a club to work out versus who eats salad dressing. It's going to be the same number, okay? So what we're really looking at here is a projected number who have done this activity, okay? So you're, the way you read this is, for example, well, let's look at uh, men. This basically says of those who, um, um, of, of all of the men in the U.S., 112 million of them, 13 million of them are projected to have exercise two plus times a week at a gym or, or a, or a um, at a club in the last 12 months which is 12.3 percent of the of the total male population okay and this is actually 49 and a half percent of the total number who have worked out at a gym whereas women make up 50 percent 50.5 percent of the people who are projected to have worked out two plus times a week in the, in the last 12 months so as you scroll down you see there's a lot more demographic information for these people um, and you can actually download this to Excel just by clicking on um, add to your reports here okay uh, if we scroll down some more we see there might be some other activities so for example um, uh, sports how often engaged in so here we have people who do aerobics right if we scroll down some more we would see people who do bicycling boating uh, let's see fishing football frisbee golf hiking hunting here's jogging right so you kind of see we get diff different information that way uh, let's go there's martial arts there's Pilates so lots of stuff in here for your for your and as you click on that your demographic information is going to change here okay so here we have um, do we have yoga let's see if we do way down at the bottom we'll probably be there yeah yoga uh, once a month right so what you can do is you can actually click add your reports and close that and then if you want to you can actually go in and say let's go back up and do our um, Pilates uh, once a week add to my reports and let's go back up and do martial arts add to your reports okay and let's go and do um, that's probably good enough to start with there so what you can do is go to your viewer report list and 
Um, I've actually already done a couple things before. Uh, let's see. So we have sports, jogging. I've got Nike athletic shoes. I'm going to remove that. And um, we will uh, update there. Now what you can actually do is if you want to, you can create a spreadsheet with all this information in one big spreadsheet. So it's a really cool way to, to really understand uh, the overall market. So basically what this will look like, I'll go ahead and create this to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like here. So once you've created your spreadsheet out of that, basically what it looks like is basically you have all your your uh, your demographic variables over here on the left hand side, and as you scroll across, you can see that's where it gives you your your various information there. Okay, so a good way to kind of um, of seeing how things might compare. Okay, so you might be able to say, well, do people who jog a lot, are they also, do they have the same demographic characteristics as those who maybe do yoga quite a bit or that sort of thing? So you might be able to see some commonalities there across the data points by, by comparing them that way. Now this data is for national trends, so if you wanted to adapt this down to the local level, what you want to do is uh, use uh, this kind of information and understand your local market. How many people in your local market, for example, Indianapolis, Indiana, for, as an example, are in the age category of 25 to 34, or in the age category of 55 to 64, or what's their household income level in that market? Okay, so you can say, let's take these national trends and apply it to the local level by understanding our local market demographics. And what you could do is you could use actually a census website to get that kind of information. And I would suggest just Googling census quick facts. Unfortunately, due to the current government shutdown, uh, the census website is not working, but you can get census information in databases such as Simply Map uh, and, and things like that. But this will be that once it's back up and running, assuming the government comes, comes together with a budget pretty soon, uh, this is a great place to get um, quick demographic information for your local market. Uh, for example, household income, race, age, uh, educational level, things like that. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to use the database and how to better understand the fitness uh, center market. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help any way I can. Take care and have a great day.